So my name is Simon Dean from DNA Fit and I'm joined here by um, Amy Wells, also from DNA Fit and I'm the lead dietitian. So what we're going to talk about today is the really interesting integration between DNA Fit and Vita Mojo. So the cool thing about DNA Fit is we can give you super personalised advice on uh, diet, uh, nutrition in general and how to exercise. And when you plug your DNA Fit data into Beta Mojo, as you can see on our screens, we're going to flag certain items as being good for you or maybe you just need to be careful. We're going to start with the protein column. And I can see here we've got the black bean slider looks good, chicken thighs. No comments on these guys. Um, I get down to the line court hake. So this is interesting. I've got my, my small green DNA symbol here. And it says omega-3 need. Your combined genotype results suggest increasing your intake of omega-3. Uh, and this is a good source. Amy, I can see you have exactly have the, the same. same yes. Yeah. There's okay. quite a few other sources that I also have a green helix for though. So because I have um, a higher or raised need for vitamin B, things like my the turkey meatballs have been suggested for me, as well as the grass-fed beef. Okay, roasted new potatoes, uh-oh. Okay, so high in salt, um, and because I'm on the low-carb diet, I've got to be a bit careful with these guys because they're carbalicious. Let's, <laughs> let's find something good. Okay, the roasted pumpkin and pear salad, green helix. This is because it satisfies my antioxidant need. Gonna add that guy in. Um, can you talk us through the antioxidant need really quickly? So the antioxidant need specifically links to our vitamin A, C, and E requirements. So something like the pumpkin roasted pea salad has pumpkin in it, which is actually very high in vitamin A. Dynamite. Okay, so I chose the eggs or egg warm, um, broccoli, avocado mash, then some cashews, and then the roasted pumpkin pear salad with the spicy Thai sauce. Spicy. Mm. And then all in all, that gives me about 356 calories, which for a meal and also being a female is probably a good caloric intake for a, for a main meal. Cool, so what's gonna happen now is we're gonna magic our way to the restaurant where we're gonna collect this food and see how it looks. So the reason why this is really interesting is because we're really on the cusp of a new era where people can not only personalise their food, which is part of the Vita Mojo proposition anyway, but to do it in line with their genetics. So people aren't personalising just on taste, they're adding the additional element of, of what's really healthy for you, um, which I think is actually a fantastic idea. It really is. So in terms of personalisation, to take it from an idea or knowing what's good for you and actually to put it in practice in terms of the food is it makes it so much more tangible and so much easier to actually use. 